Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I, I just wanted to provide a quick update for you guys. I know I've been kind of inactive lately. I've been very busy, you know, building and experimenting stuff, you know. Um, my meter is about done. I'm working on patching things up, but um, I'm very confident that this is going to work. There's it's 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 a pain in the ass, guys. I'll tell you why. Because we're in a, and Eric Dollar told me this too. I'll make a pod, separate co podcast about my conversations with Eric Dollar. Hilarious guy. I love him. He's awesome. Totally a kindred spirit. But um, yeah, basically the problem is, is this is the realm of electrostatics that's high voltage, low amperes, or technically if it's in a perfect world, it's all voltage, no amps, okay? It's the potential, okay? It's, it's before, it's the thing before the thing is what the, what we're doing, okay? And technically the way this works is the reason why this goes at one, the, the longitudinal thing goes 1.5 or pi over two times speed of light approximately is because like, it's, it's, it's manipulating the capacity, the reactive capacitance effect basically, because, because Basically, I've been I've been balls deep in Steinmetz, guys. I've been reading, studying theory because now I, I Eric Dollard unlocked a lot of knowledge for me. But Steinmetz was enlightenment because now I'm at a level where I can understand what he was saying, and it's it's quite brilliant. But um, it's it's basically Steinmetz is saying that it's all Oliver Oliver Te Oliver Heaviside's telegraph equation, and it's like you're balancing the the capacitor and the inductor balance the power, so you have to make the capacitive you know, the, the dielectric energy match the, the magnetic energy. Come on, camera. Um, so yeah, it's basically, it's, it's phase balancing. So the phases are balanced, but Tesla, so the capacitor one, the it's, it's on the unit circle. It's, um, leading 90 degrees or pi over two. That's why this, this wave does this. It's approximately in quadrature is what Simon says. It's 90 degrees above essentially where where the power is at so that's why it, it's, it moves faster than our normal power okay so we can mathematically do this by so multiplying it by j is 90 degrees j squared is 180 degrees and basically we're just using the imaginary number to maneuver our way our way around the circle that's all it is but um anyway yeah so um Electrostatics are very different. There's different precautions that you take because I'm using a, the way I did it is because everything's digital nowadays. Okay, like there's no way around it. Eric has warned me that this is a pain in the ass. Like trying to convert these analog to digitals, it's very difficult because you know our, the way our digital s systems are you know engineered, it's not made for this type of power. It's different. Okay, so there's things that there's certain like precautions and filters I had to go through to get it to work. You know, I'm, I'm confident this design I have now is is good. But, um, yeah, the, you can't just, re the, I realized that you can't, it's, 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 it's bold. And I understand that. And, and I'm, Eric has, has come out and said before that he, this theory is engineerable and it works. Yeah. I am confident with this design is basically what I'm, what I want to say. And I, and I've definitely learned that you should not prematurely announce things, you know, before they come into being fully. So that's a lesson learned by me, but, um, I'm a man of my word and it will get out. Okay. It is, I've demonstrated it on my TikTok. I'm very confident that this will work. Okay. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens because, you know, we're measuring in terms of the Parker and the neck and the knock. Okay. You know, volts and amps are just mathematical fictions relating the fluxes, you know, that's what the neck and knock are just in a different way. We're, we're representing the, the mutual and the, um, the mutual and the, um, what's it called? The self induction differently than what they do with their theory is all this is. Okay, so when I say symbolic representation of AC current, what I'm referring to is the verser, okay? The verser is a beautiful mathematical system that many mathematicians have considered to be a great advancement in the field of space algebra because it eliminates the imaginary number, the, the, the whole debacle with that. You know, it gets rid of it and we can engineer it and go farther with it. It's very important. The way you think you need to visually, you know, look at AC current or electricity is it's not like I've said before, it's not charges going through a wire. That's not at all what it is. It's fields. And specifically, these fields seem to follow some sort of quadrupolar geometry. It's a universal pattern. It's the double sided tetra the double sided tetrahedron is what AC current visually looks like. Okay, so the double sided pyramid. The four quadrant theory by Eric Dollard, which is his verser thing, the symbolic representation that was started by Steinmetz, Eric Dollard continued it and made it beautifully engineerable um basically so think about it like there's there's the unit circle right and then there's quadrant one two three and four each quadrant of the ac current cycle has different phases or different properties okay there's essentially four different ethers you know and and, and there's certain characteristics that 
can benefit humanity. There's the destruction and consumption phases, and there's also the inverse of that, which is the growth and supply phases that we neglect. They stop the watt meter, which is the destructive phases, okay? Think about like the four seasons, right? Like think about how on Earth, you know, it's, um, you know, there's fall, spring, winter, summer, how each characteristic of, of these, you know, it's, it's the same exact thing, the four quadrant theory, okay? Same thing with the solar cycle, same thing with the lunar cycle. They all have cycles that AC current also follows, okay? Electricity is a natural occurring phenomena. It is no different than anything else in nature. So this Steinmetz method is essentially creating energy from the square root of negative one. It's converting reactive imaginary power to real power. And that's what the unit, the Parker, represents. It's a complex unit of power which, which does real work. That is the Parker. And this is calculated by using rectangular coordinates. Okay, Steinmetz showed all this. It's all engineerable. Okay, basically on our verser, it's the circle. And we're using the standard Oliver Heaviside telegraph equation, the A plus JB equation that cleared up the line. That's a, Steinmetz applied it farther and found that when you apply it to the transient, there's different phases. Essentially, it's it's cosine is the, the real axis and sine is the imaginary axis. So it's A cosine plus J sine. And that's our equation, okay? And Eric Gollard beautifully, you know, shows how we can algebraically represent the imaginary number on the cosine, the real axis, okay? So this is an image, it should be imaginary, but it's not, okay? That's what the Parker is, okay? Because think about our transmission, right? Our wireless signal. He was in Texas, I'm in Illinois, okay? He wirelessly sent his signal through the ground and the Parker manifested itself on the other side via my light. LED flash, okay? That is an imaginary unit of power. That is the electrostatic field. So basically, Eric Dollar takes this, this, this verser idea farther with the transient. So instead of the four quadrants, there's essentially eight quadrants, okay? AC current is counter-rotating fields. It's the magnetic and dielectric fields rotating counterclockwise to each other. Algebraically, this is known as a hyper-complex function, okay? That is a complex function raised to the power of another complex function, okay? And likewise, um, this this inverse, the, the, the function that's raised to the, fun you know, that specific property, has that specific, you know, complex function that's raised to the power is very interesting because it's like the inverse. So there's four ethers and that one complex function represents the, the other four counter ethers, okay? So... It's really quite a brilliant way to do this, okay? It's derived from the Fortescue method of polyphase, balancing polyphase systems. It's legit. It's all mathematically proven. We just don't see it in our schools, and they need to push it because it's really good stuff, all right? Eric Dollar deserves mad props. And also, um, Parker Edmondson and I will be presenting at Aaron Marikami's um, thing, his free energy thing. That it will be, um, the dates for this conference are June 6th to, um, or sorry, July 6th to July 10th. Parker and I will be pre presenting on Saturday, July 9th. Um, Eric Dollard is presenting his Borderlands um, Cosmic Induction Generator, his Galaxy, and I'm going to see that shit live. So be sure to stream that. Um, tickets are limited in person. I know Aaron wanted it to be more of an online thing, all right? So if you're interested in this stuff, it's really where I got all my knowledge, guys. I literally downloaded it, and, and Aaron's a good guy, and, and he's making a living doing a very good thing. Like, he's a, I've talked to Aaron, too. Aaron is so smart. So many things have gone over my head. They have great people presenting, and, and it's really, like I said, where I learned all my knowledge from, okay? Like really, these are the these are legends in the field. So I definitely encourage you all to um, check it out if you're interested in the stuff and want to learn more because it's where where I got my start. All right. So if you're rocking with me, peace out. I love you. Stay tuned for more.